70 some degrees out there today, Jeremy. Hard to be thinking about Christmas. I know, it's even hard to be thinking about Halloween, right? Which is only seven days away. Feels more like summertime. So this is the last day of the summer warmth. We're going to finally usher in fall-like temperatures as we head into the day tomorrow. I know we have lots of beautiful fall colors, fall foliage across the region. That's kind of incongruous to the temperatures that we've been seeing. Felt a lot like summertime yesterday, especially with temperatures in the 80s. Today got up into the upper 70s. 79 for Avoca, 79 for Williamsport. And all that, although that's 19, almost 20 degrees above the average, it wasn't a record. Record high today for Avoca was 83, 82 degrees. So we were three degrees below the record high. And record high for Williamsport today. 84, record high for Mount Pocono, 78. So we didn't have any records, but we did see temperatures near record highs. And looking back at the temperature history, we had six days, if you include today, so five panels plus today of red indicates above average temperatures. Today was the last day of above average temperatures, and then we're going to see fall-like temperatures once again tomorrow. And as we head all the way towards Halloween once again, might push the 70 degree mark once again for Halloween. So you won't have to worry about wearing the jackets or bundling up the kids to go trick or treating, which would be nice. There's a live look right now at the City Heights Apartments rooftop camera from Wilkesbury. Good evening to you, that's the Diamond City. Got a lot of Halloween houses still coming in. This one is from Kerry, and I just love the glow coming off of your house in Mount Carmel. All of those carved pumpkins there on your front porch, really well done. Thank you so much for sending in your photo, Kerry. We appreciate that. Winds are calm, up to 10 miles per hour, so light in nature right now. We saw some gusts earlier today, up to 33 miles per hour in Wellsboro. A 24 mile per hour wind gust clocked in for Scranton. We'll see wind gusts once again tomorrow as we have a wind shift coming out of the northwest instead of coming out of the southeast as we had today as this cold front rolls through. Not really a vigorous cold front, not seeing a lot of moisture, maybe a few lightning strikes out in central Pennsylvania near State College, but none of that's really going to make it towards us. Just some light rain showers and much of it not even making it towards the ground because the atmosphere is so dry, it's hard for it to make it all the way to the surface. It's drying up and evaporating on its way down, but maybe some of those sprinkles there in Columbia County making it towards the surface. Same for western Luzerne County. Okay, this is the larger picture. We got this low pressure system up in Canada this cold front will sweep through all cold all low pressure systems sweep counterclockwise so we see them turning this counterclockwise flow that brings up warm air from the south that explains our warmth yesterday and today then we're going to see the cool air filter in on the back end of this cold front coming out of Canada and that'll bring us more fall like more seasonal temperatures. So here's future clouds and radar. We do have that risk for a sprinkle as we head into the next few hours. If anything, it will be light in nature and we really do need the rainfall. Then as we head into your day on Thursday, the clouds will start to dissipate past noontime afternoon. Lots of sunshine once again, but it will be cooler and much more breezy heading into your Friday. Still sunny, but we'll start to see cloud cover increase as we head into the afternoon. Maybe a sprinkle possible. But it's really light in nature. We're talking about accumulations of a few hundredths of an inch if we're lucky. And this is the picture of the drought across the country. A lot of exceptional drought for Texas, up through Missouri and places of Arkansas, West Virginia. And here in our area, we are abnormally dry, which is the level right below drought is actually declared. And since we don't really see any measurable rainfall in our seven day forecast, we might end up having drought conditions. You want to be really careful with open flames. 47 is the overnight low of possible spot sprinkle possible. Look at this wind gusts up to 30 miles per hour tomorrow in our mountains and our uh, temperatures are going to continue to remain seasonal and taking a look at what we had before high temperature of 82 degrees yesterday. Boy, are we on a roller coaster tomorrow? We're going to have a high temperature of only 58. That's a 24 degree drop. That's your seven day forecast temperatures much closer to average. And with the added winds tomorrow, it'll feel a little bit cooler, probably feeling more like the low 50s. And we keep things in the low 60s, upper 50s as we head all the way through next week. As we head towards Halloween, though, Scott, we do see a little bit of a warm up possible. So maybe breaching the 70 degree mark once again next Thursday, which does happen to be Halloween. Does happen to be Halloween, doesn't it? Yep. And All we right. are prepared here yeah. in the backyard. <laughs> Do you think? <laughs> Thank you, Jeremy. Yep.